At six foot zero inches, I would consider myself on the tall side of average. And being on the tall side of average, I can reach most things on the top shelf most of the time. But sometimes, sometimes, some things are still slightly out of reach. So I realized I need a stool for those times when my tall side of average height just isn't enough. That and it would be nice to have a place to sit that's easy to move around and have a secret compartment for stuff. So let's do this. Pat Soriano made this stool with a secret video a couple years ago. And as I was doing research for my Tetris TV stand and Tetris sound panels, I came across this picture of a Tetris puzzle cube and thought, why don't I put these two things together? They're not ready. To make this, I got two eight foot four by fours, four caster wheels, a door hinge, and some magnets. The first thing I did was to cut the four by fours into four inch cubes. No, wait, that's not right. Four by fours aren't actually four inches. By four inches, they're three and a half inches by three and a half inches. Why? I don't know. For some reason, we've accepted the fact that a two by four is not a two by four and a four by four is not a four by four. Anyway, I cut the four by fours down to three and a half inch cubes, 48 in total. I also cut four pieces at one and a half inches and four pieces at one inch. Then I set up a router table with a 45 degree chamfer bit and routed all of the corners on each of the cubes to make them, well, still a cube, but a chamfered cube. The plan is to paint the outside of the cubes to make up the Tetris pieces and to have the bare chamfered size to contrast the color of the paint. After doing that, I took all the cubes and cleaned them up on a sander which was essential since the router sometimes tears up soft wood. A lot. After cleaning up the cubes on the sander, I started gluing them all up. I glued together the walls of each of the sides and glued the four one and a half inch pieces and one inch pieces into squares. And then glued together a two by four piece that'll be the secret door that you can open. During this stage, I needed to figure out the placement for the Tetris pieces on the cube so that there weren't any blank spots or missing squares. I printed out a box template, drew squares, and colored in where I thought the pieces could fit. My first attempt left me with a few blank spaces, but on my second attempt, I figured out how I could put it all together with no blank spaces. Once everything was set, I took my two wall pieces and I glued them together with the top and the bottom squares. I taped everything off and then using my paper cube as a reference, it was time to paint. After the paint was dry, I added all the hardware, putting the wheels on each of the corners and screwing in the floating piece with the door hinge. I then drilled holes on the inside of the opening and on the door and then added magnets so that this door would stay together when it was closed. Having wheels on the bottom of the stool definitely makes it a lot more fun. The last thing to do was to take it out and spray it down with a couple coats of polyurethane. There it is, a shop stool that can help me reach those slightly out of reach places. Thanks for watching my video, I hope you liked it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, send me a message, 
whatever. And special thanks to Pat Soriano, whose idea I stole, or adapted, if you want to put it that way, uh, to build the stool. Thanks to my patrons for helping to support these videos, and of course, thanks to you that sounded so cheesy. <laughs>